Hello everyone and welcome back to Jackal Educational Channel. So this is the part 37 of the unit wise expected and important questions for the net environmental science examination. So if you are preparing for any environmental science entrance, this unit wise series is very important for you. So today we are going to start a new unit which is unit 8 that is environmental assessment, management and legislation. So if you haven't checked the previous lessons, the link is given in the description below, you can go out and check the playlist. So let's start today's video. So the first question is, as per the EIA 2020 draft, the maximum validity of EIA clearance period for a mining project in India will be how many years? So here, the correct option will be option number C. Yes, 50 years is the current validity period for the mining as per the EIA 2020 draft. Previously it was 30 years, so you should not consider this one. And you should know that it is either 50 years or up to the period of validity of mining lease. So you should note it down. And for other projects such as river valley projects, irrigation projects and nuclear power project, the clearance period validity is given as 15 years as per the EIA 2020 draft. So you should note down all this important. I will repeat river valley, irrigation and nuclear power project. The clearance period is 15 years according to EIA 2020. Similarly, for all other projects, the validity clearance is given as 10 years. So I hope you are able to understand this. Let's move on to the next question. The next question is from the environmental management system in which the question is asking, we have to arrange the following components of an environmental management system in the correct sequential order. So all these components are given. Number one is planning, environmental policy is number two, number three is implementation, number four monitoring and number five review. So you have to arrange in the correct sequence. And here the correct option will be option number B. Yes, the correct option will be option number D, sorry option number D because the first will be environmental policy. So we have to have certain environmental policy that we are having for environmental management system. Then we have to plan accordingly that is number one, two, then one. Then number three will be the three that is implementation. Number fourth will be monitoring and finally it will be the review of the management system. So you should note it down 2, 1, 3, 4, 5. Option number D will be the correct option. Let's move on to our next question. The next question is the outcome of an EIA that is environmental impact assessment is usually a formal document known as what? So think carefully and here the correct option is option number A. Yes, the document is known as environmental impact statement. So note down all these things in your notes, it will be very helpful for the preparation purpose. Time for the next question. The next question is, the protection and improvement of the environment and safeguarding of the forest and wildlife by the state. So I am repeating, it is written by the state, is emphasized in constitution of India under which of the following article. So here, the correct option will be option number A. Yes, according to the article 48A, it is the duty of state to protect all this forest and wildlife. But according to the article 51A, you should note it down, it is the duty of the citizens to protect and improve the natural environment, including wildlife, forest and everything. So 51A will be for the citizens, 48A will be for the state. Next, you have to know that what is article 47. So article 47 states that the state is to ensure the primary duty of raising standard of the living people, to increase the nutrition level of the people and to bring improvement in the public health. So these are all coming under article 47. Similarly, article 21 is also important because it is the article known as right to life. Moving on to our next question. The next question is, which is the eco label of India? So all these four are given in which select like the correct option and here the correct option will be option number B. Yes, Eco Mark is the Eco Label of India. Similarly, Blue Angel, that is not Angel Pia, so Blue Angel is the Eco Mark for Germany. And next is Green Seal. So what is Green Seal? Green Seal is actually the US member and co-founder of Global Eco Labeling Network, that is GEN, you should remember. And similarly, Eco Guarantee is the non-profit organization which is having the non-GMO, biodegradable and all this label are given by Eco Guarantee. You should note it down, all this four. Moving on to the next question. The next question, I hope you all will be able to understand and answer because it is very frequently asked question. 
the question is which category of projects do not need eia clearance so which of the following projects are not having the clearance so here the correct option will be option number b that category b2 projects they don't require any environmental impact assessment clearance moving on to the next question the next question is what is the full form of sea that is c in environmental assessment so here the correct option will be option number a yes the full form of sea is strategic environmental assessment time for the next question the next question is which is not a stage in lca that is life cycle assessment which of the following is not a stage so here the correct option will be option number d yes all are the stages in lca because the first stage is the goal and scope definition next step is environmental analysis the third step is impact assessment then which are followed by interpretation that is life cycle interpretation step so the correct option will be option number d none of this will be the correct time for the next question the next question is the basel convention on movement of hazardous waste was adopted in which of the following years and here the correct option will be option number b in the year 1989 the basel convention was adopted which is restricting the movement of hazardous waste among the countries time for the next question the next question is what is the correct feature of battle columbus so read every options correctly and here the correct option will be option number d yes battle columbus is actually an environmental evaluation system it is also called as bees that is battle environmental evaluation system and it is for water resource planning so you should note it down it is for water resource planning and important thing i am telling you that it is having 78 parameters so you should note it down it has been asked how many parameters are there under battle columbus so to note it 78 parameters are there 18 components are there and four categories are there time for the next question the next question is the definition of air pollutant as per section 2a of air act 1981 includes which of the following substances so here from the question also you will get the notes because it is mentioned air act 1981 so you should note it down air act was in 1981 So now we will know what is the correct option and correct option will be option number C that is solid liquid and gaseous substances including the noise is under the air act 1981 as the definition of air pollutant so these all four things are air pollutant time for the next question the next question is again from the air act the question is under the air act 1981 which body is empowered which is having the power to set standard for the ambient air quality and here the correct option will be option number c central pollution control board has the power to set the standards for the ambient air quality time for the next question the next question is which legislation in india makes it compulsory to obtain prior approval of the central government for diversion of forest land into non forest purpose so agar koi forest land hai usko agar non forest purpose ke liye use kiya jana hai तो कौन सा चीज कंपलसरी है विच एक्ट के अंदर की सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट से अप्रूवल लेना चाहिए सो द करेक्ट ऑप्शन विल बी अकॉर्डिंग टू द फॉरेस्ट कंजर्वेशन एक्ट 1980 इट इज कंपलसरी टू ऑप्टेन द अप्रूवल प्रायर टू द डाइवर्सन ऑफ फॉरेस्ट लैंड टू नॉन फॉरेस्ट पर्पस फ्रॉम द सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट लेट्स मूव ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज विच भारत स्टेज इज किप्ड इन इंडिया so this bharat stage are for the automobiles and here the correct option will be option number c yes bharat stage 5 is skipped because previously it was bharat stage 4 and now all the automobiles are running according to bharat stage 6 that is bs6 time for the next question the next question is from one of the important acts that is when was traditional forest dweller or forest right act enacted in india and here the correct option will be option number d in 2006 this forest dweller act that is traditional forest dweller act was enacted in india let's move on to the next question 
The next question is which of the following prompted the government of India to enact EPA that is Environmental Protection Act in the year 1986 so kaun sa wo situation tha tragedy tha jiske dwara government of India prompt hua ki environmental protection act hona chahiye hamare country mein so here the correct option hoga option number B Bhopal gas tragedy which took place in the year 1984 during the nights of 2 and 3 December 2nd and 3rd December that prompted government of India to enact environmental protection act of 1986 so you should know here endosulfan tragedy occurred in kerala because of the use of the endosulfan pesticide many lives were affected and premature death maturity level decreased in the humans so that's all was there in kerala by use of excess of pesticide containing endosulfan which was later on banned by the government let's move on to the next question the next question is composite impact by superimposing maps is related to which of the eia methods so here the correct option will be option number c overlay this overlay analysis is having the superimposing map for example one map is having the hydrological data it will be superimposed that means placed through the technical that is technical effect we have to place other map which is having the forest and we will know what are we have to going to analyze and you will get the result by putting one map on other map that is superimposing of maps time for the next question the next question is according to the public liability insurance act 1991 the enquiry of an application for the relief is conducted by whom so here also you can note it down that 1991 the public liability insurance act was enacted coming to our question the correct answer will be option number b collector has the duty to inquire if an application is there for the relief purpose time for the next question the next question is the un convention of law of sea was signed in the year so this is not a sea strategic environmental assessment it is asking of the sea which is having water so the correct option will be option number a in the year 1982 the un convention of law of sea was signed for the purpose of protecting the seas time for the next question the next question is the decision making process in the environmental impact assessment generally does not include what the four methods and four aspects are given and here the one which is not included in the decision making process of eia is option number d operational management yes cost benefit analysis socio economic aspects as well as procedural information are included in the decision making process but this process that is operational management is not considered under the decision making process of eia so here we have discussed 20 important questions which are expected and important for the unit 8 and i hope you liked it if you want more such video then like the video share it with your friends and subscribe to the channel to get further updates